previously on The Witcher 3. Red Chamber. Tamara's room is there. Try not to make a mess. For their return, I want everything to be as they left it. Wooden candlestick. Stems broken. Fresh flowers. He expects them to return any minute. Takes hope. The Baron and his wife. <laughs> Look happy enough. What's this? Ah, gotta wonder who wanted to hide the hole. And what's on the other side. Hmm, it gets interesting. Piece of wood looks like the stem of that candlestick. No coincidence there. Hmm, fight might have happened here. I'll look for clues. Hmm, damn ugly for a doll. The kind he'd stick with pins to hurt someone. Damn, trail breaks off. Could find something else though. Hmm, spruce wood. Smells of juniper incense. Some sort of folk talisman, protective. Question is, against what? Won't find much else here. Recognize this amulet? Hmm. Yes. Anna began wearing it a time ago. Any idea where she got it? None. Any witches or cunning women in the area? A pella. Old Coop lives near Blackbow. And there's a cunning woman in Midcops, but I know little about her. She's only recently arrived. If Anna were to see someone, she'd choose the pella, not the woman. Anna was wary of strangers, newcomers. Found signs of a fight in the room. Know anything about that? A fight? What are you talking about? Someone was attacked. Probably your wife or daughter. Whoever it was tried to defend themselves with a candlestick. Missed the attacker. Punctured the wall instead. They tussled too. I... I don't know nothing about this. That night, I was drunk. Don't remember a thing. They were gone by the time I awoke. Doubt you were the only ones in the castle. Maybe one of your men heard something? Three times I asked those bastards if they'd seen anything, heard anything. Nothing! Not a one of them! Wanna have a chat with this peller? Fair warning, he's a hard man to talk to. Rumor has it he killed his own father with an axe as a lad, then went batty. Now they say he sees ghosts and plows his goat. Not really interested in his hobbies. Just wanna ask about the amulet. Hey, anybody home? Open up, it's safe now. Devils? Who do they bring? What seek ye? I need your help. Whoa! A man, nay, a wolf, grey, though not old. Tis he the peller awaits. Anna and her daughter are missing. Know where they are? Nay, no, nay. Pella don't know. But the spirits could know. The Pella will augur, the spirits ask. Spirits. Great. Fine with me. Long as I know where to look, where to find them. Princess! None better than princess for finding things. Princess! My goat! She's fled! Fine. I'll get your goat. Goat of mine! Dearest, sweetest goat! <laughs> the White Wolf helped the Pella. And so the Pella shall help him. Blood. We need blood. A living being. throne without rite or ceremony it awoke now it wanders it seeks vengeance a botchling white wolf wise wolf catch the botchling the botchling will help lead the wolf to the loved ones botchlings suck the blood of pregnant women and eat their fetuses they don't help it is a being cursed and witches lift curses if the white wolf can't lift it he should bring me its blood Blood will always find kindred blood. Whatever I do, I gotta find the botchling first. Seek it at midnight, near the grave that lies empty. If what you say is true, the Baron ought to know where that grave is.
Welcome back guys again to another episode of The Witcher 3. My name is John from Just Gone Gaming. Thank you so much again for tuning in. Appreciate all the comments and everything. And uh, yeah, we're back. So basically, on the previous episode, I actually met up with a Baron. I know who the Baron is. And uh, he's actually trying to look for his wife and daughter as well. Whoa. Just a short recap of the story. The Baron's wife and daughter actually were missing, and he actually wants Geralt to find both. Now Geralt started looking for them in the room upstairs on the Baron's mansion, and he actually ended up with a Peller. As you can see, the Peller is actually an old guy who actually knows how to communicate with spirits. And the Peller actually said that there was actually a child that was actually miscarried from the Baron's wife. And it's actually called the botchling. So I'm soon gonna find out what a botchling is. So yeah. So just a little more and yeah, I think we're there. Alright, we're here. So oh wait, what's happening here? Is there some kind of attack from the Nilf Guardian Empire or what? Seems like there's so much trouble going on. Uh these folks weren't here before and now they're back. I don't know. Something's not right, obviously, you know. So I'm soon gonna find out what it is. Oh my goodness. Oswin. Where's Oswin? Anyone seen him? Believe I saw him heading to the stable. What? Fire. You blind? Nobody willing to put it out? Ain't that simple. Most are afraid. Baron flies into a rage. He takes no prisoners. My brother's in the stable. We've got to save him. He'll burn alive. Him and the horses. Okay, I'll try. See what I can do. Hurry now, quick! Alright, let's do this. Alright, we're just gonna go to the waypoint over there. And use the quen sign. Just gonna take out this. Use my art sign. It didn't work. There must be another way. Over here, up the stairs, then there you go. Oh crap, my breath is actually limited too. I better hurry up uh, before I loot. <coughs> crap. I'm losing health. So I think it's this way. Yep, there it is. The horse is here. It's gonna open up. Then. Uh, I think uh, this one as well, I think. <laughs> Let's see. The waypoint is actually leading me outside, so I'm just gonna go for it. <laughs> just wondering who actually caused this fire in the first place. to forgive you the drubbing you gave those pricks at the crossroads. I know your wife miscarried. Was that before or after you beat her to a pulp? What the fuck are you suggesting? Don't play me for a fool. You'd been beating him for years. 
Finally, they'd had enough and fled. Sound about right? Oh shit! Here we go. I'm just gonna fight this guy. Come on, come closer. They ran from you, didn't they? Oh crap! Hopefully, it could win. There you go. Damn it! Just a little more. Oh crap! I can't use my science either. Oh, there you go. You deserve that, you big fat blob. You deserve that. It's not enough. Good for you, huh? We need to talk. Look at his face. All swollen, beaten up. Okay, I guess this is the story behind the uh, Baron's relationship with his wife and daughter. Sit down. You beat them. I never laid a finger on Samara. Not once. And on Anna. That's another story. She always knew how to spark my ire. Your wife. How'd she make you angry? Too much salt in the soup? Socks never darned? Twenty years we've known each other. She seen me drunk and sober. She was there to greet me when I returned the victor. She was there to patch me up in defeat. Like no other, she knew where to press, where to pinch, so it would hurt. You beat her? For that? For criticizing you? Oh, Witcher, you haven't a clue, have you? Well, perhaps I shall tell you about it one day. One day, but not today. Expect me to believe you are a loving father to Tamara after that scene in the courtyard? You're free to believe whatever you wish, but she was always the apple of my eye. She had the run of the place, ask anyone. She'd ride the horses, hunt with the men, at times join them on their rounds. And they'd send for her when I flew into a rage, for only she could calm me. Make it sound like she led a charmed life. If that's the case, why'd she run? I'd hardly need you if I knew. You knew they'd run away from the start? Yes, I knew. Why didn't you tell me? Wasted my time. Say I had. Say I'd said I had troubles. Couldn't control my wife, my daughter. What kind of flaccid prick would you take me for? Gotta admit, I do think you're a prick. Not because you couldn't control them, but because you drove them away. What? Don't play the idiot. You gave them no choice. Anna and I. It wasn't as it seemed. Seems. All right, I'm all ears. Tell me what happened. The truth this time. I'd been soaking myself three days straight. Anna came to me, said they were leaving. I begged them to stay. She refused to hear it. I tried to stop her. She wriggled like an eel. We struggled. She fell. Last blasted thing I remember. Woke up in the morn, breeches heavy with my own piss. A large bump on my head. Sadly, they were gone. Know what that's like, Witcher? No. How the fuck could you? I was left with nothing. Nothing! Only the bottle. What happened next? Next? It only got worse. I awoke at sunset, not knowing how many days had passed. Thought it was all a plowing, drunken nightmare. And then I went to the bedchamber, and Anna was not there. Instead, there was blood everywhere. I knew she'd miscarried. 
My breath short, my throat locked. I neared the bed and saw it. It lay there, a tiny thing, defenceless, on bloodied sheets, dead. And it was my doing. Maybe you're doing, maybe not. But that amulet she wore could be important. Or maybe the fact that she lost it. What did you do with the child? What was I to do? Took it out and buried it. Just like that? Damn you! I gave no thought to a funeral. It was a horror. I wanted it to end. That child had been my dream. I told Anna... The little one, our little one, to make things right. Yet she died before she could be born. Understand, Witcher. My child was dead. I sympathize. I do. Thank you. And know that I hope you find your Siri. Deal we made means I need to find Tamara and Anna first. Just so happens your unborn daughter might help us do that. What? How? Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Into... fucking... what? A cursed creature that draws strength from killing pregnant women. Once it's strong enough, it attacks those who scorned it. But how... how does it know? Blood ties. They're a strong bond. A bond I want to use to find your family. How? One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual and turn it into a lubberkin. That's a sort of, uh, hob. A guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. And the other way? We kill it and draw some blood. Take that to the Peller and he does the rest. Do not kill my child. Why not? It's suffered enough already. Okay. Lift the curse that it may finally rest in peace. Whatever we do, we gotta find the botchling first. I'll show you where I buried her, and I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a lubberkin, they can bury us in it. Handy either way. All right, let's do this. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight at midnight. Then wait here with me. Near midnight, I'll take you to where I buried her. Get word to the common folk. Let us stay in their homes tonight and draw a line of salt outside their doors. And try to sober up. Do I take a shovel to dig up the grave? Take it. You'll need it, but not for that. All right, so yeah, we're trying to look for the botchling, okay? Pretty much excited in the storyline. Now let's see what this botchling really looks like. A bit further, follow me. I can't wait to meet this botchling. No. Why would we? Mistake. Names are powerful seals. Here's the spot. Chose a lovely spot. Damn it, will you relent? I'm plowing now I've done wrong. Good. The grave's dug up, and empty. What's that mean? Botchling's on the prowl. Look! Oh, shit. Woo! Oh, wow. Is that the botchling? in the arse before we know it. Keep screaming and it will turn rabid. It's calm for now. Bloody hell. 
What happens when it gets very restless? It'll bite through your jugular, and you'll bleed to death before I can help. Tell me if it starts wriggling, and I'll calm it with magic. Pick it up. Take it in your arms. Merciful gods! Oh my god. Are you even serious? Oh, look at that thing. Yikes. Back to the fortress. What? With this? As I recall, you were the one who wanted to test the old legends, change it into a lubberkin. Oh, fuck. As usual, I'm gonna loot everything here. Oh, shit. I'm overweight. Gotta take out the trash, you know. Is there anything else that I can loot? I guess not. Alright, I'm just gonna follow this blob here. That's what I would like to call the Baron. No hard feelings. God what oh my god all right let's do this boy I don't know what to call you right now but you just turned into an ugly being show me what you got okay all right let me do this he's hiding back there all right just gonna use my Quinn and my skills and hopefully I'm gonna kill it. Die you piece of filth! Die! To be honest this kinda looks like a ghoul, I don't know. Crap. I'm overweight too. Things are not really looking good for me. Anyways, I'm here. No other way but to kill or get killed. All right, is that the best you can do, boy? You just turn ugly. Now it gets worse. You gotta be kidding me, it's healing. Oh crap. It's also someone, some. What is this? Wraith? I don't know. This is some serious trouble. Oh crap. Oh crap. Better run away. Yeah, run away, boy. Crap, don't kill me. Oh, crap. Oh. Anyways, I got a lot of porks here. I actually farmed this. I'm not gonna consume this one for this fight alone. I'm gonna save it for later on. 
Three against one. That's good. That's good. I don't know if I should deal with the botchling first or the wraiths surrounding this botchling. I might try both. I don't know. Oh crap. This is some intense suspense right here. Oh crap. Alright, I'm just gonna take out this Wraiths first. And I'll go for the Botchling next. How's that? Crap, he's actually following me everywhere I go. I'm just gonna stand there and do nothing? Oh crap. Take them out first. Let's go. Crap. Why did I even choose this difficulty? Oh my god. I could have done better if it, this was easy, you know. You gotta take care of these mobs first. Crap. Oh my god. Okay, there you go. One more. One more, boy. Oh crap, it's someone again. I didn't... I didn't expect this. I don't know. It's a heart attack, yo. Okay, I'm just gonna do the usual rolling and hitting and, and whatever I can think of. I'm in trouble. Oh boy. Okay, there you go. One mob down. Okay, wait. Is it... Oh, shit. Oh, crap. It's summon again. No, I'm not gonna die. No, never, never give up. There's a few hits. All right, I'm just gonna take out this mob again. Eventually, I'm gonna find a spot to hit the botchling and wound someone again. Crap. Really hard. Okay, it's really hard to talk. Must concentrate. Oh, crap. Gonna take out the trash first. Okay, just relax, relax. Oh crap! Oh wait, wait, wait! Woo! 
Oh crap! Wait, let me heal. Okay. Oh crap. Why won't it even aim? Just one more hit and they're out. Okay, one down. Next! Yes! Now it's all up to me to destroy this. I don't know what to call you, honestly. I just want you dead, that's all, boy. Oh, wow. It worked. I never thought that this would actually be like an Al Ghul. I've encountered those ones before. And its real weakness is actually just using the Axis Sign. The Axis Sign actually lowers down the spikes from its back. I also read this on the uh, loading screen, you know what I'm saying? So it's really good to read some of those tips for beginners like me and for players having this mode of difficulty. I might have to lessen my Quen use here so I could use the uh, Axis Sign. Okay, hopefully it's not gonna heal. I know it will, but not too much. That's alright with me. Oh crap, it's healing again. Don't you heal for me! Because I'm gonna kill you right now. This is gonna be a showdown, Mortal Kombat. One on one right here, right now. This is so intense. I'm not gonna let you summon those two uglies like you. Uh uh. Crap. What are you doing there? Get away! You're just gonna hurt yourself. It's gonna eat you alive, you know what I'm saying? It's really good to use this uh, circle thing to dodge instead of the... I, I actually use the X square a lot. That's why I keep failing, I guess. He's almost out. Just a little more. Shut up, man. It's all about my life now. I'm gonna kill it or get killed. No excuses. It's dead. Bloody hell. You killed my child. Yeah, right. I, I got no choice. The curse. Save it, damn you. Not kill it. Do I have a choice? No. Forgive me. It couldn't be avoided. I truly am sorry. Yes, yeah, sure. Look hell, you're sorry. Calm down. Go home. With a bit of luck, I'll be back soon with news of your family. What? What will you do with that blood? Me? Nothing. Just hope that Peller knows what to do with it. Go home. I'll come see you once I know something. Woo! That was an intense fight, to be honest. That's it. It's dead. No problem. And I'm here. I'm still alive. Alright, guys. Thank you so much again for watching. I'm gonna leave the video here for now. Appreciate all the support. As always, stay safe. Peace, guys.
solace sweet.